Where would you say the downfall was? Was it like that Jay Z incident, or what was the downfall for you? Do you think? When you mean like a downfall in my like, life, like the the career, like where did, where did career? it go downhill? Do you think? Um, my career went downhill when. Um, okay, so in two thousand and seven, when I went to shoot Shorty Get Loose the next day, the next yeah, the next day after my mother's funeral, I was already tapping out. They was like, "You got to finish the album. It's December." My album came out in April, like 42908. That's the date of my first and only album. Mm. 08. So I was like, yeah, nah. I'm I'm not really sharing this with everybody else, but in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I don't wanna f around. I'm good. Damn. I do this for my mother and like it's over, so f it. Like, I'm good. I'm on a show still, doing a dance show at the time. Like I'm active. Like, I don't know. I think I might be wrong. Did I pick it up right there? Oh yeah, I think I was. Once I started, once the album was coming, like I was um, coming to host on the show, making income, um, and for me, I was just tapping out. You was like, it was a I'm tap good. out. It, it was a tap out, and that's two thousand and eight. So now two thousand and nine rolls around, which you're talking about. That's two thousand and nine September. Between two thousand and eight, the album, all the way up to then, you no single, done. no plans to put out another album, none of it. So it's like. I was already in a space where, yes, I was I was on a, a television show making anywhere between forty and seventy grand a week, and that's an episode or two. Um, so I was successful in my own right. I just wasn't like on it about being lit on the music scene. I was trying to like fall back again to like gain my um, my my my. I wanted to grow organically. I'm a black girl. Like I'm really a project baby. Like I'm from the hood. Like where. We figure things out together, me and my peers. We listen to our parents, but then we have our little talks. Everybody get together, we vibe out, we figure things out. And I started feeling like I was kind of like disconnecting from who I knew myself to be and who I was becoming. But that's a good thing, though, like that growth. And so by the time 2009 came around with that event, I did feel a difference and a shift in um, my effect on the fans, the industry, whoever. Like I, it, Like it just became... Well, propaganda played a major role because there was immediately after the event, there was um You're talking about the war show. Yeah, after okay. the war show. This is the VMAs 2009. You're talking okay. about I like to call it 913. Okay. Because that's the day. And that's the day that my grandmother was born. So I was already in good spirits, mm -hmm. sober, as you talking about. Um, feeling lit. Oh, people were trying to say he was lit. He was... No, no, no. I just think oh. that people just try to figure out what was going on. Like Kanye had his Hennessy on the carpet. Certain things was going down that night. You heard? It was late. I don't blame it on the Hennessy. Yeah, I don't blame it on the Hennessy. You blame it on the... Right. I, but you have to take accountability for what is. Oh, we could take accountability, but we yeah, still can talk about the it. Yeah, but the Hennessy left. No, I think, like, I feel like some people, because I'm this way, and yeah. I had to learn this. I feel like some people are so passionate and genuine in their heart that they have to express it to everybody. And I feel like that probably kind of was... That probably was something that everybody was saying in the room. And felt in their mind. Yeah, felt in their mind. And he was like, no, nah, I got to say something about this. Granted, again, the industry is is, is wicked. Is, is, I don't want to say it's weird. The world is weird because like everybody, it reminds me like you had a job and everybody talking shit about the boss. Yeah. But then you say something and then you get fired, right? Yeah, oh, okay. It, it's like that. So it's like everybody's probably saying something. I'm going to be the one to say it. And then when I say it, I'm that everybody's person. Scrutin scrutinizing. I'm that person. So we had but that was that wasn't your, that wasn't your situation though. That wasn't my situation, but we're very similar in that way, and that's that's all I'm speaking to. Right what you now. mean no 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 no? Don't do me like that. I'm not trying to do you like that. No, don't do me like that. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, Tell me, talk uh, to me, man. So all right, so um, I'm very similar in that way to Kanye, where I'm the one that'll be like, "Yo, y'all trying to act like y'all don't see the moon is orange tonight? Mm -hmm. Like it's going down." I'm, I'm I'm getting that off my chest. Right. So I get that. Um, but for me, I just wanted to tap into a little bit. Like me and my sisters, we talk all the time. Like she's tired of hearing about it. She don't want to hear about oh, it. For but my, sure, for me, believe. it's more so like different people want to know different things for different reasons. And as long as a person is genuine with me, like if you coming at me like, yo, I never knew this. I never knew that. And I really wanted to know what was going on. I'm going to give it to you. But if you're trying to be funny, then I got to shut you down. I got to protect my energy. 100%. Now, I want to speak to that night a little bit and say that one, yes, I was sober. Um, I was excited. 913, a special number to me. It's my grandmother's birthday and it's my weight at birth. So that night was like, it was just a special night. And as as usual, I'm always late. So one of the things that I noticed in just doing my research about the night, like 
because it's a very popular event, right? I'm like, wow, I really want people to know that I came in the middle of the night. Like, I wasn't mm-hmm. there when Kanye went up there. Okay. I wasn't there yet. So, um, Wait, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah. I'm going to let you... This wasn't the same um, event, was it? Yeah, same night. No way. Same night. What the... F- that's crazy. Yeah, it's the same night. No way. That was the, that was the same... Yeah, no, same it night. wasn't. It's the same night. As Kanye West, that one... Taylor Swift, yeah. I just got it was cheered. a big night. That's crazy. Yeah, it was a big night. Yo, when I got home, I was so mad because I was like, I ain't no. <sighs> Yo, like it was mad stuff that had me tight. Like Janet Jackson performing, honoring Michael Jackson. After I would have saw that, that was the opening. I was late, bro. I was so late. I, I, I miss all of this. So when I got back oh, home and I watched shit. it, I'm like, Yo, Janet did a tribute for Mike. Remember, Mike passed in 2009, a little bit before around the BT Awards. Because I remember being in a chair, getting my hair done in LA. I was in a chair getting my hair done in L.A. for a pre-BET award event. And they was like, yo, Michael Jackson just passed away. I was like, what? I made the girl stop doing my hair. I think I just went to the hotel and just, I didn't even go out. But anyway, fast forward to 2009, September 9-13. Mm-hmm. My bad, my bad. Finish the story, finish the story. Janet Jackson performed. She did a tribute for Michael Jackson. So I want to took my you ass want, up you there. Want, you want people to, wait, 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 what? I want to took my ass oh, you up there. there. No. I, was say, I thought you said you would have went up there with, with Janet. Janet. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> no, I know you that no, crazy. Like, you're no, not crazy. No, I'm not oh, that crazy. Okay, bro. so so you, So yeah, I didn't see Janet. I didn't see Kanye. And then when I got there, I think um Beyonce was performing Ring on it or something like that. Like it was a couple of things going on. I remember her performance being very like significant. Like she tore that shit up. And then it was um, first of all, being on America's Best Dance Crew is like the cameramen were the same men. We were supposed to be recording live and streaming, and then I was supposed to sit in my seat, which was like all the way in the back, so that, um, like, what did they say? They was like, we're going live with the show, and we want everything to feel live from the show to the awards, so please... You know, don't go to, if you're going to go, don't do camera. Like, they made an announcement at yeah. work. So now I get there and the cameraman like, yo, what up? I'm about to sit you right next to Lady Gaga. I'm like, bro, I was good in my seat. He's like, come with me. So he sits me down in the second row. Mind you, I done miss everything from like all of the controversial stuff that took place that night. Like with Taylor and, you know, Janet and everything. So now I'm sitting there and, you know, I'm from New York City. So when the song kicks up. Nobody else really thought this song was hot like that, but I did. And so, you know, I got excited and I got up there and I feel like um, Jay, like one of the things that my brother brings to my attention, because me and my family, we just do research and we always grow. Like we, we're growing, 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 constantly growing. Nothing is about just shutting down and being like, that's it. Like, no. So he was like um, bringing up that like 50 had went on stage with him before. T-Pain, like, so he just might've just been super offended and not knowing your angle, like not getting it at all. Like what is going on? Is disrespecting me? I'm not with nothing. And so it's like, wow, from that perspective, I get it. But from a perspective of like um, Jay-Z and Alicia Keys both being from New York, me being from New York, and them singing about New York, for me, it felt like super propaganda style when everybody's like, we just don't get it. Because like, what you don't get? What you don't get? But if if somebody puts it in your face like, oh my God, this happened and it wasn't supposed to happen, immediately you're going to feel like, damn, some shit went down. Mm. So I feel like from there, I had to deal with... um, Propaganda, which is basically um, journalists from like the Wendy Williams to the radio stations, the Breakfast Club, or even um, at that time, Ed Lover was up there. And I feel like he gave a genuine response. But like other people, they were just kind of like chiming in and it was given, it was given gossip. It wasn't given leadership. It wasn't given fellowship. It wasn't really given like they was taking my hand like, yo, we going to figure this shit out. So if you need to sit down and have a conversation, let's do it. It was given like, you know, those are my friends. And it was just so many things that I didn't see. Mm. Like I didn't see that they were using me for clickbait. Like, yo, let's create. Let's get her to come up here because this is a hot topic right now. Was their th- angle to whereas my angle was like, let me go on here and clear this up. Mm. I wanted to ask, wait, because damn. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was the same night. First bro. of all, yeah, yeah, I'm, that messed me up. But, because I'm really a fan now. But not now, but. I get what you're saying, though. I'm inquisitive from a fan perspective. Okay. Was Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce I, try to stop me? That's what they said. Yeah, did, I try to get her to go up. <laughs> did you feel, like, did you feel Shut her? Up. Like, 
No, 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 you got to, bro. It's too late. We in. All right. I'm, I'm, I need some popcorn. Like, I'm, all I'm, right. So when I when I came from, all right. So I'm like, I'm supposed to be probably in like row fourteen. But the orchestra, like the people who are putting the show together, they work with me every week in yeah. LA. Mm -hmm. They flew to New York for that night because it's a special event. But we work together all the time. So they sat me in the second row, I think, or third row, second row. Anyway, I was in the front. Beyonce was in the row right in front of me. When mm -hmm. I told the person next to me, I'm going up there. This is. He got up, moved. I went around. I went to B. I was like, You coming? She was like, Oh, what? Like, you know, you sound just classic like B. Thing. She gave classic B. She gave classic B. Huh? What, honey? Can I, be? I was like, you coming up there with me? It's up. She was like, oh, no. Like, she was confused. And then um, I was like, all right. And then I think she probably did, like, try to do that. And I was like. Yo. So that's that story. You, you, so it's funny because, like, you don't try to run away from this moment. Like, because usually people are like, I don't want to talk about that. But, yeah. like, you, like you, don't, you don't try to run away from that moment. I feel like. Sometimes for me, it has been a trying to run away from the moment type of thing because people put it out there like that's what you should do. Like, don't talk about that or do this or do that. And it's kind of like, nah, this is life, bro. And in order for somebody else to learn from my situation or to learn from a situation that they might be going through that might be similar, they might have stepped on somebody's stage in another way. Mm. You got young people that's into paraphernalia and all type of stuff that's going on in the streets. Now they got somebody's stuff and they did something they weren't supposed to do and they could be nearly losing their life. Like Evan Ross and ATL. Mm, 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 mm. No, <laughs> and so it's like, how do you come, like, how do you bounce back? And for me, I feel like now that I'm 35, and I think that might have been their age at the time, and I was 19, 20, it's like, come on, man. Like, for me, it's all about fellowship, like reaching back. And like, people if a only young, can learn from it. Like, yeah, like yeah. if a young shorty do something that I don't like, instead of me shutting down, like, yo, I don't rock with them at all. It's more so like, I wanna see them. Mm. Bring them here, or let's meet up and let's figure it out. Whether it's on a street level or on the industry level, it's going to be some things that's not going to rub me the right way. I'm a human being just like everybody else. So it's like I, t I, I take on the vow of I'm going to walk in. If a young person makes me feel uncomfortable and I know that they don't know better and they still learning and they growing, it may be some things that just turn me off. Don't turn my back. Be there. Say something. Show up because it's important. But you know what's funny? Not funny, but it's what's what's crazy about that is you probably I mean, you probably learned it, but you probably learned that because of how you felt in yeah, that moment. Yeah, in that situation. Like you said, like nobody really grabbed your hand. No. And, like, and now it's, it's almost like an obligation. Like, man, I know how I felt in that moment. Yeah. And nobody had my back. They did so not have my back. So even if I see somebody that's young making mistakes, that's the last thing I'm going to do because I, I would want somebody that did that to me. Yeah. But we getting serious and jokes. Serious and jokes. Yeah, we got You know you the... The goat for that, like nobody could be like I I'm was not on stage lie. with Jay and, and Alicia Keys. Like I'm on, not gonna like, lie, period. the upside of it in my heart because before going in, I was a fan of both of them, and after going in, nah. But like before going in, I was a fan of both artists, and I know a lot of people from my hood, especially Brooklyn. I know grown people that's like 10, 12, 13 years my senior. That's big fans, and. If you ask Jay their names, he'd be like, who? But if you ask him mine, yeah. he'll know who. Yeah, like you can't you can't you Forever. can't knock that. And I and I'll take that. I'll take that. Right. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Yeah, take I'll that. Take, take that. that. <laughs> well, maybe not. Take no, that, take that. But. Yeah, maybe not take that, take that, but we just gonna take, take that. that. <laughs> niggas is crazy. We wait, gotta chill. Yo, niggas is out of control. We gotta chill. We, gotta chill. we have to. All right, all right. Wait, all right. wait, 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 wait. Hold up, bro. Yeah. Hold up. Because I'm learning so much about this. So I did a little research. Okay. And like, you felt at one time like Jay-Z got you canceled or like- I never said that. No? I've never said that. Not canceled, but like, he had something to do with the- You spoke on I don't know how this might sound, but I just feel like they didn't say anything and they didn't do anything and they saw what was going on. But I also feel that same way about their own career and their own traumas. I feel like before I even became a celebrity, before I even was known nationally, just studying, watching, learning from interviews and things like that, they won't even speak on their own situation. So I can't get mad. 
Okay. Like it'll be something going on with him. Okay. Okay. And he will be like quiet. Yeah. So I like a part of me feels away, but then a part of me feel like he not even going. That's because you grow. You grow. You don't really now. be addressing shit. That's because you grow. And up now. and on top of that, it's because I'm grown now. And on top of that, like I'm like my father's a hustler. Like he's gonna get his bag. Like he not waiting on nobody. He not looking to nobody. And I think that him. I think that he's proud of me just. Being focused on getting to my own bag, yeah. being a young entrepreneur, focusing, going in, like, you know, into acting and production and doing what is going to bring me to that. And I kind of feel like Jay would be too, would be proud of that because yeah. he, like, by listening to his music and being a fan of him before that situation and just kind of like following his career, he the type of, he the type of person that'd be like, yo, get your own money. What you worried, what you waiting for somebody else to have your back for? Like, so it's just like, for me, it's like and that's a fact. Yeah. I only ask that because, like, you know, th- like nowadays, more recently, I feel like this is a new thing. It might not be a new thing, but a lot of people been blaming everything on Rock Nation. Like, Rock Nation got this. Rock Nation got this person canceled. Rock Nation got like uh, this person conspiracy theorists and yeah. shit like that. And I was just wondering, like, I never knew like it was that serious. I'll be honest with you. For me, I give all the power to God. Come on, dog. I give all the power to God. Come like, on, man. Like she I, talking some shit. Now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I give all the power to God. Like my wins, my losses, you know, my celebrations to my mourns. Mm. I go through a lot, no, facts. and it don't, and, and everything don't is not based on a certain uh, event, but about around events in my life. And I know that God is working through me, using me. I'm a vessel. Mm. I'm I'm far from perfect, but I have a purpose, mm. and so I can't give them that power. I can't give that power I to like nobody. It. I like, like it. I, I think they, don't, I, they can't get that. Nah. I seen Maya. It was a it was a small snippet of Maya talking on Vlad one day, and she was saying that um, I love this when she said it. She was like, "Man, because I, I don't know if they talking about her being blackballed or something." But she was like, "I would never say that. Like, I would never make no excuse and say that." You know what yeah. I'm saying? I just stepped away because there was a lot of things that was going on that I didn't like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't going to give give anybody else the power to have over me. And I that was it. And I thought that was dope because most some people would be like. No, nah, they black bomb me. They did this and yeah. they did that. I mean, I gotta, I gotta agree because, and I have to reclaim my power because I did stop making music when my mother passed. Mm. I wasn't, I didn't put out an album around nine thirteen. I didn't put out an album after nine thirteen. I spoke to a very well established actor who told me that the only thing I did wrong after nine thirteen was not put out an album. You should have put out an album to capitalize off of it. And I was like, that's everything but what I wanted to do because it truly was a genuine stance. Mm. I wasn't trying to be funny or weird. So putting out an album would have made me feel uncomfortable as a person. But I have to reclaim my power and say that I slowed down and work when my mom was passing because it's the truth. Yeah. I was I was like semi done. Like, what, what are we doing right now? Like, stop yeah. playing with me. No, and it, then go ahead. No, I was gonna say, like, it's crazy that you said it because even like us talking about being young and like, how old were you at that time? Not 13. Um, not 13. I had to be like 20, 21, anywhere between so 19 even, and 21. I was still let's young. Say 21. Yeah. Even yeah. at 21. Cause I did, I was hearing like Jay speak on it and he was basically saying, I don't know why she came up there. And I was, I was just wondering like, it ain't hurt that like they didn't reach out to you just to talk like, yo, are you okay? Of course that hurt it, bro. That shit hurt it. I'm sitting up there looking like Anita Baker, like, I apologize. <laughs> on every damn episode, I'm like, I'm going to Tyra Banks, going to this one, that one. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm I'm done. I'm hanging up, I'm hanging up the Anita right now. Um, not doing that. And they no never more. called you that like No. The- never. And that and that's the part where I'm like, you gotta like, if you're a person that ever been through anything that hurt you or like, to be honest with you, Twitter was new. Like, let alone the opinions of people on my block, naysayers, this, that, that, and the third. Twitter was new, and I went viral mm. on Twitter. Like, I was the first person to really get, like, the ridicule to that level and that degree. I had to turn my phone off. I was so embarrassed, hurt. And then, like, Instagram wasn't even out yet, bro. Mm. Then Instagram came on. They kept cutting my ass. And then we just became cool. Like, I feel like being in the shade room and being amongst the people and really hearing what they have to say... And like, um, just like bonding with people, I was able to grow. It's kind of like I was saying earlier. It's like some something going down, and then like it's 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 like like whatever, like an embarrassment, like a bad fight. Let's say mm-hmm. I got beat up in the schoolyard or something. Let's use that as an example. And then I'm just standing in the yard, and everybody like, "Yo, you got your ass whooped!" And uh, after a while, you adapt. After a while, people be like, "Nah, you did, but you at least you hold you held your own." You know what I mean? Like, 
Like that's how it feels, but at the same time, it feel like, damn, who 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 are these people to me, and who do I have to be to myself, mm. and who do I have to be to the next generation? Like I'm a solution based person, so I'm always thinking about like, what's next? Like what's like what's the next thing? So when you ask me things like about Black Bold and all of that, it's like I have to take my own power and and um, go back to what I know is factual of what I did with my music. Like as far as if I was still pushing, like if I was still pushing and I would be honest, I would be like, bro, I put out another album. My shit went fucking brick because niggas was blackballing me. But it's not the truth. <laughs> yeah. The truth is that maybe there was some conversations of anger and um, maybe there was some conversations like, nah, I don't fuck with shorty. Or maybe, maybe it existed. I don't know. I wasn't in the room. I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is my part. How did you like, because we could laugh and joke about it, but like, how mm-hmm. did you... Do you remember how you dealt with that? Because I know that had to hurt. Like you said, he was embarrassed. Yeah. In the beginning, I was hurt. Tyrese called my phone as soon as I got home. He was like, yo, playing. And then when that ass was on there going, ah. Nah, let me stop. But no, seriously. Um, Tyrese had hit my phone. He was like, bro, you ain't tell me you was performing. <laughs> First of all, my heart is racing. I'm already mad, embarrassed. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. you crazy, Ty. <laughs> Why would you say something like that? Performing. <laughs> That's crazy. You saw me perform? <laughs> <laughs> Funny as shit. So like I had to deal with him and then I had to deal with like hearing like at Love on the radio in the morning, Wendy Williams, um, eventually uh, uh uh Angie Martinez, who she talked to Jay, mm. and he was just like, Yeah, you know, I didn't like it and everything, and you know, and he was so angry and I was just trying my best to do everything I could. After a while, I was like, forgive yourself, bro. Mm. Forgive yourself. Move forward. With. That ain't make you like, that ain't make you depressed or nothing? Bro, I was hurt. I was depressed. I was like, yo, what's going on? And then you got everybody telling you like, you're doing bad. You, people pointing at you like, what did you do? Like, of course you're going to feel like that. And how was you able to get up, get through that? I'll be honest with you. My faith in God. My mother taught me about the love of God and the direction of God in the spirit when I was a very young girl, probably like three or four. My mother used to be like, you love God? And I was like, yeah, I love God. Why you love God? Because of you. You teach me about God. That I, you love God, you love me more. I love you more. Nah, I love God more. Because mm. God is the purpose for all of us. So little things like my foundation in that space and then like my family. Like having a family that's not trying to make me right or wrong is a blessing. Because they find in a balance and truth. Mm. Like where were you right? Where were you wrong? How do you move on? Mm. What are we doing right now? So like... I talked to my father about, and it's mad, like, emotional, because I was like, hey. When I went into audition for Left Eye, when I went into audition for Crazy Sexy Cool, bro, I was like, they don't want to see me. I felt like, I felt um, defeated, right? And then there was a very special song out at the time that helped me get through it, and I kept listening to a repeat. Mary, Mary, go get your blessing. Mm. It's your time. And I really let that sit in, and I was like, And I went in on a, I want to say, like, it was a phase. Like, I went in to audition for one person, and she was like, I wouldn't change a thing. Then I went home. Before my next audition, I had a dream that they was like, that ain't it. I wake up to my alarm. I'm like, what is going on? I get myself ready. I go to the audition. they like, oh, my God, she's killing this shit to themselves. And I'm like, I'm nervous because it's like the director, the producers, and I'm like just hoping that I'm locked in. They loved me. Chili and... Um, Tion both vouched for me. They was like, she got it. She reminded us of Lisa. And I think that that was the first moment where I was able to say, this is something that I do that's of me, that I'm creating in this moment that can propel me forward in a positive way that doesn't have anything to do with anybody else, no handouts. I worked my ass off to get in there. And it was mad connections. Like the writer, Kate Linear, Linear, she's really good friends with my aunt. Like they both did modeling and she was studying for writing and everything. So my aunt and my uncle got wind of the auditions even coming and was like, you need to audition for Left Eye. You need to play Left Eye. And I was like, they're not going to want me. I'm going through so much right now. And this, we talk about from 2009 all the way up to like 2013. And I'm like, what am I going to do? And they like, girl, if you don't fucking wipe them tears and get in there and play Left Eye. So it was like a process. But with the power of God and the power of family, I was able to push through and get back on my feet. Like, okay, this is what I do. This is something that I'm confident in. This is something that's real for me that's not based on a um a gimmick 
or anything that somebody could use and say, oh, she's doing that because she's beautiful. Or she's doing that because she got a nice body. Or she's doing that because she slept with so-and-so. No, I work hard for everything I've got. Mm. 